Hi and welcome back to another one of my style videos. Today's video is all about DIY fashion and specifically I'm looking at art pop which is a fantastic trend for this spring summer and I'm going to use Dylon fabric dyes. These ones are the hand dye options and I've also got the paint options and I'm going to create my own art pop looks using these three H&M pieces that I've bought. The first idea is this one which is an oversized really simple lightweight shirt it was only $14.99 from H&M and I'm going to use the hand dye options and I'm going to try and do a dip dye effect because I think that's going to look fantastic over a swimming costume, when I'm at the beach for the summer holiday or even just with a pair of jeans for casual around town. Then I'm going to move on to something a bit more creative with these trousers. These were just $12.99 from H&M, just a simple white chino. I've actually bought it a size too big so that they're a bit oversized and what I'm going to try and do is create a bit of a Jackson Pollock effect, so kind of splashes of colour through the trousers and then I'm also going to take that into a matching top, which is a cropped top with a little bit of embellishment on the front using the same concept so that I can wear them together but also separate them and kind of continue that art pop look in two different outfits. So that's what I'm going to try and attempt to do. My inspiration is quite clearly from the catwalks this spring summer. Chanel used that art pop theme, so did Celine, so did Prada. And I'm just going to do my own version and on a really low budget rather than those designer prices. I hope you like what I come up with. Let's see how it turns out. The first process I'm going to talk you through is the Jackson Pollock inspired outfit. This is it before the paint happened. What I did was I placed a plastic sheeting on the lawn, this can be done inside as well, and then I inserted plastic bags inside the garment so that the paint wouldn't seep through to the back layer of the garment. Then the fun bit starts, it's actually time for the painting. I used the Dylon fabric paints and they're so simple to use, just shake the pot, dip your paintbrush in and get creative. I decided to go with splashes because it worked with my theme, but you could just as easily draw pictures in the same way that Prada did for spring summer. Once you're happy with your design, it's time to let it dry. It needs to completely dry before you can set it, and to set it, you will require an iron and an ironing board. I placed a white cloth over the top of my ironing board, then the garment in between, and then a white cloth on top, before actually ironing the garment. One, to protect my ironing board from any splotches of paint, but also just to protect the garment as well. I was really happy with the results, and as you can see, I created a very, very splashy look for this uh, spring summer inspired outfit but I was really really happy with how it turned out and think they'll work great as separates. The next art inspired look I came up with was for this shirt. Now this is it before I got into the dyeing process but what I wanted to do was create an ombre dip dye effect with this outfit. First off I decided to peg up the shirt so that the tall top half of the shirt wouldn't actually hit the dye and would create a better ombre effect. Then I mixed up the salt and the warm water ready to mix in the dye. The dye sachet you need to mix into its own separate water, stir vigorously like in this film and then add to your salt water. Mix the two together ready to put your garment in. I lowered my shirt into the bucket so that I would ensure that I got the bottom half of the shirt really green and then the dye would just suck up into the fabric. I then gradually lifted the shirt out of the dye and left it in for periods of time so that I could create the great ombre effect that you can see in this final look. Once I was happy with the depth of colour on the shirt, I had to let the garment dry, then wash it one more time before the colour had completely set. But overall, I'm really happy with the finished look. I think the depth of colour is fantastic. I hope you've enjoyed my DIY art pop fashion video. I've certainly enjoyed making the pieces. I really enjoyed making this Jackson Pollock inspired number. I think it's great because I'll be able to wear the trousers with just a plain shirt or a t-shirt, but also I can wear this top with a shirt underneath, do some jeans, maybe my shorts. It'll be great for this spring summer. But I'm most impressed with the depth of colour from this hand dye option that I did with the Dylan fabrics. The ombre is exactly what I wanted. It's going to look great over my swimming costume when I'm on holiday, but also I can wear it here in the UK with my jeans. I think the really exciting thing is the depth of colour. I was so impressed at how strong the colour is, considering I didn't leave this in for the full time that they recommended because I wanted a paler colour. But if I did, the colour would have been fantastic. So it's inspired me to maybe think about dyeing some of my towels just to give them a new lease of life. And also maybe even try doing the bed linen in my bedroom just to create a whole new look for my room, change the colour scheme completely, but on half the budget. 
I hope it's inspired you guys as well because I think it's a really, really easy way of turning an item around that's in your wardrobe that needs a bit of a, a lift or a pick-me-up. But also, half term's coming up and I think the kids might just enjoy creating something like this Jackson Pollock on their own t-shirts whilst you're getting a bit handy with that dip dye. So maybe try it over half term, see how it works out for you, send me pictures on Twitter, I'd love to see them. But either way, I hope you've been, been inspired by my art pop fashion look and I'm going to be enjoying this trend this spring summer.